Okay, so we're gonna explore events in TyFlow. And what events are is there are ways to move data around, move the particle information around based on specific rules or tests or uh, uh, various other different things. And uh, this is a really great way to manipulate particles. It's a really great way to create some really interesting effects. There's a lot of different things that can control events in, in TyFlow. So we're going to go through something really basic, which is essentially creating a, a box. And we're going to use this box to, to move through the particles. And we're going to use that, that, the, the motion of that box to create an event um, and influence the particles to go from event number one to event number two. So I'm just going to drop a box over here. You can see that this is a pretty standard uh, rectangle. And I'm going to begin to uh, animate that box so it kind of starts uh, in the center here and then it's going to cover the whole log uh, and as it as it kind of uh, grows um, then we're going to see what effect uh, that can have on the particles as it, as it grows. So just going to center it up here and over I'm going to scale it back so it's uh, nice and skinny in the beginning. I'm going to go to frame 100 and I'm going to scale it uh, all the way so it's kind of covering all of those particles because you want all of them to be to be covered within the volume of of this box for the test that we're using so you can see just over time it's got this nice bezier growth uh, that just sort of covers the whole the whole log right so how does that apply to events so what we're going to do is um, first of all we're just going to right click on it and um, we're going to turn off all of its uh, ray casting, right? So I'm going to right click and go to object prop or redshift ob object properties. And I'm just going to turn off all the primary, secondary, uh, all the rays that it casts. So this is essentially becomes an implicit cube. Um, it doesn't it doesn't cast any uh, GI or, or it doesn't influence the render in any way. So essentially, we're just using it for its its volumetric data. Uh, and I'm also going to just turn it off in render in object properties, which is the 3D Max one. Just going to turn that off and render it well, just in case. Right. I'm also going to just go up to uh, the dis display properties here and just display as box, just so we only see this as an outline, um, and uh, that'll just give us some some uh, screen real estate back, so we can see what's happening to the particles beneath. Right. So back in our TyFlow window, we have our basic scatter system. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to change the color of this geometry here. So you can see that I change it from green to brown. And the color indicators, the display, display nodes, are a great way to show if your data is being passed from one event to the other. So it's a nice visual way of keeping track um, where your data is, what event your data is in. Um, and that uh, is just, you know, for me, who's a visual learner and visual thinker, this is uh, a much easier process than, than trying to keep it all in your head. So within TyFlow, all the nodes are color coordinated. Um, you can see all the tests are in the yellow color here. So we've got targets, objects, um, different types of time tests, surface tests. And because the box is a surface, we're going to use a surface test. So I'm going to drop one in here, and I'm going to add the box as the surface test object. Um, and as you can see, it's added it in here. And that's going to create a condition around that box. And we've got some different tests, test modes and stuff here. But first, what I'm going to do is there's a little button next to this surface test mode, and I'm going to pull it out here, uh, which is going to create a new event based on this test. When this um, surface is tested in the distance of this box, it's going to display the geometry as this green color. So as you can see, as the box expands through that, through those particles, they're, they're satisfying that condition of that test, and they're going from brown to green. So this is really the basis of, you know, uh, the, the, the whole structure of Thai flows passing these things through events. Uh, it's a really powerful way to do things. And um, I'm going to go back into the surface test now and see uh, what different ways we can uh, affect that uh, test. 